Hi everyone, this is David and in this video we'll learn how to migrate a WordPress website to a new domain name with Backup Buddy. Backup Buddy is a WordPress plugin that provides an all-in-one solution for backing up, restoring and migrating WordPress websites. In this video tutorial, we're going to be moving smartfamilytips.com to smartgreentips.com. This tutorial assumes that, number one, you are migrating your website, meaning that you are moving to a new domain name. Number two, that your new domain name and web hosting is ready for you to migrate to. In other words, you see a blank screen on your new domain name like this. And number three, that you have already purchased a copy of Backup Buddy and installed it in your WordPress site. There are four steps to the migration. Backing up WordPress, creating a MySQL database for the new site, running the import script, and finally, redirecting visitors to the new site. The first step involves making a full backup of your WordPress website with Backup Buddy. To do this, we log in to WordPress and go to the Backup Buddy admin screen. So this is the Backup Buddy admin screen. I'm going to click Full Backup to completely backup the website database, team, plugins and files into a single convenient zip file. This may take some time depending on the size of your website files and database. Great, so the backup is complete. So now that the backup is complete, I simply download the backup file by clicking on its name and it will download to my computer. This download is going to take some time because of the size of the file. While I'm waiting for the download to complete, I'm also going to download the import and migration script. We'll need both of these files for the migration later. While we are waiting, let's move on to step 2, creating a new MySQL database for our new website. To do this, we log in to the cPanel of the web host for the new website. Inside cPanel, click on the MySQL databases icon. First, we need to create a database. Type in your desired database name into this box. It can be anything that you want. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to name it tutorial DB and create a database. Here's the confirmation screen that the database has been successfully created. Next, I also need to create a new database user. And I do that by filling in the user's username and password here. So once I fill in the username and password, I just click create user. And here's the confirmation screen that I've successfully added my user with the password that I picked earlier. Finally, we need to link the new user to the new database. So I do that by scrolling down here and selecting the user and the database and clicking add. On this screen, I want to make sure that I select all privileges and I assign all the privileges to the tutorial user for this tutorial database. And here we see the confirmation that the tutorial user was added to the tutorial database. You need to keep your database name, database user and password handy. You'll need to use it in step 3. And that's the conclusion of this step. We're now ready to migrate the website. To do this, we need to upload the zip file of the backup and the import buddy script to the new server. 
We do this with an FTP program like FileZilla or Transmit. I'm using Transmit and on, on the left pane you see the two files that we downloaded from the old site, the backup and the import body script. And on the right pane you see the website root for smartgreentips.com. I'll upload these two files by dragging and dropping them into the website root. Again, this will take a while because of the size of the files, so I'm going to speed up this part of the video. Great, our upload is now complete. Both the backup file and the import body script are in the root of the new website. The next step is to open up my browser and view the import body file. If I've done this step correctly, the file should be at smartgreentips.com slash importbuddy. Okay, looks like I got it right. Here's step one of the restoration and migration tool. As you can see, it has de automatically detected the backup zip file. I'm going to click next to start the migration. Step 2 asks me to confirm whether I'm migrating or restoring it to the same server. In this case, I am migrating it, so I'm just going to leave it and click Next. In Step 3, the Import Buddy script is extracting all the files from the zip backup that we uploaded to the server earlier. This could take some time, depending on the size of the zip file that you uploaded. Okay, so now the import body script has extracted the files and we are ready to proceed to the next step. In step 4, we need to provide the database uh, details that we created earlier. So I just type in the details from the database we created earlier and I'm going to test the settings. And, and Backup Buddy reports that the details are correct, so I'm going to click Next. Alright, great. As you can see here, the Import Buddy script has restored the database and migrated the content. And it's also configured the WP config file. So the final step is to delete the import and migration files. Great, we're now at step 6 of 6 and that means our import is complete. Uh, Backup Buddy here is telling us to delete a few files that you couldn't delete and it's best to follow uh, its advice and delete these files via FTP because they can pose a security risk. So um, let's check out our site smartgreentips.com and smartgreentips.com is no longer an empty site. What we see here is an exact clone of the old website. All the content, the themes, plugins, and files have been successfully migrated to the new domain name. Okay, so we're at the last step of the migration. What we've done so far is to clone the old site. Here is the new and the, the old and the new site together side by side so you can see the difference. Um, they're exactly the same, exact the domain name is different. So you can still at this point, you can still access the old site at the old domain name. In this final step, we want to redirect visitors to the old site automatically to the new site. To do this, we need to FTP into the old site and edit the htaccess file. This is a funny little file whose file name begins with a dot. I'm drawing your attention to this because files whose name begins with dots are usually invisible on your PC or Mac. That's why I prefer to edit htaccess files directly from within my FTP client like this. If you do this, you have to be very careful that you don't mess up and make a mistake because it can crash your site. So with that warning out of the way, I'm going to add a single line of code to my htaccess file right at the top. <clears throat> of course, you should change the domain name to the domain that you are redirecting to and you can choose to leave in 
or remove the www portion of the domain name. So I'm going to save this and my FTP program is going to upload the file. Okay, great. So now if we go back to smartfamilytips.com and I refresh the page, you see that it automatically gets redirected to smartgreentips.com. And this works for every page of the site. So if I go to smartfamilytips.com slash about, it's going to get redirected to smartgreentips.com slash about. Search engines will also update their index of your site so that you don't lose any of your SEO ranking. And so that's how you migrate a WordPress website to a new domain with the Backup Buddy plugin. In conclusion, Backup Buddy makes the process of migrating a WordPress website much more convenient and easy. Besides the migration feature, Backup Buddy can also automatically backup your website and allow you to restore it easily. The time the Backup Buddy saves you is more than worth its price. I hope that my tutorial helps make your WordPress migration simpler. If you're still feeling lost, I'll be happy to do the migration for you. In return, simply purchase Backup Buddy with my affiliate link and contact me via my website, theclickstarter.com. Thanks for watching and I hope that you find Backup Buddy useful. Learn more about web tools and strategy for your online business at theclickstarter.com.